Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I'll show the game played by Grigori and Peter. And the diagram on the left here show that the game play and the black mid in four. And in this game, the black made a very beautiful queen sacrifice and win the game. So let's just see how the game play. The game start with knight f3. G6 E4 Knight F6 E5 Attacking the Knight And now the Knight need to move away Knight to H5 Then D4 was played a very strong Controlling the center And the White is now is better in this position Then D6 was played And Bishop to E2 Preparing for a uh, castling and knight to c6. Then castling from the white and bishop to g7. Preparing for a short castling as well. Then rook to e1 and black castling. Then e takes d6 and the e takes d6. Then bishop to g5 Attacking the queen And now the knight back to f6 And after this, d5 was played to keep on attacking the black knight And the knight to e7 So after this, this is the first time move that the white has only slightly better in this game then the game continue with a c4 keep on the development and h6 was played to attack the bishop and now the bishop back to c1 actually the bishop can capture the knight also for the action so in the actual game the bishop back to c1 then the Black play knight to e4 towards the center of the square, and now the white play knight b to d2 and attacking the knight and go for the exchange. Then the knight to c5, and now the knight to b3 again and to go for the exchange instead. The Black play knight f5 And now the knight b to d4 Towards the center So actually the best way will be knight capture the knight And after d takes the knight Then the queen can go to b3 And here you have the idea of attacking the pawn and therefore the bishop cannot move up so after this the black play rook to e8 attacking the bishop and now the knight capture f5 then bishop takes f5 and this help the pawn to develop and also you have the knight can attack to this square and attack the rook so knight d4 was played and after this the black has a very strong idea and strong move by playing a bishop D3. So if you use the bishop to capture the bishop, bishop takes bishop, then the rook will attack the rook and check the king. And after the queen takes, then the knight can capture the bishop or capture back the knight. 
So the rook takes the rook, then queen takes the rook, and here you have the idea of capture the knight or the shot. And the game will be a battle for the black. And if the bishop play to e3, then the bishop can just capture the bishop. And after this, the rook capture again, then the position will become a equal position. If the queen move to h4 and attack the knight, he also can attack the pawn. And this one also can be played and will be a good move for the black. So queen h4, then if the bishop takes d3, then the bishop will capture the knight. And if the bishop capture again, then the rook will just capture the rook and check the king. And this will remove the queen to protect the bishop after capture the rook. So if you capture, then the queen will capture and now the bishop can be captured with the knight or the queen can capture the bishop and now the, the queen and the knight is attacking and with this the black will be a clearly better in this position so bishop d3 was a very strong idea and after this the white play knight to b3 attacking the knight again and also the bishop can attack the bishop after this bishop takes bishop and then the rook takes the bishop and after this the queen go to h4 with the idea of attack the pawn and also attack the c4 pawn then the knight capture the knight and the pawn takes the knight then queen to c2 protecting the pawn and now the bishop to d4 with the idea of attacking the pawn and f2 then here with the very strong threat so bishop to e3 for the action so if you ignore the attack let's say you make the example move like uh, e3 then you will be checkmate in two for example you can use the queen to sacrifice and check the king so if the king move to h1 then the queen will just go to g1 or f1 and there will be the checkmate so here is the checkmate and if you capture with the rook then the rook will go to e1 and checkmate the king as the rook being pinned by the bishop and cannot be moved and this is a checkmate it's a very interesting checkmate idea so after bishop to d4 bishop to e3 was played and here to prevent the attack of the f2 pawn and now the bishop takes the e3 bishop and after this the pawn takes the e3 and here now the black develop the rook to e4 and with the idea of double up the rook and attack the pawn at f at e3 and we have a very strong idea to capture the pawn and the rook also are able to capture the pawn at c4 so this is a very strong threat from the black so b3 was played to protect the pawn then rook a to e8 attacking with the double rook attack the pawn at 
e3 and after this queen to d3 to add more of the pieces to protect the pawn and now queen to e7 and have a multiple pieces in the straight line to attack the e3 pawn so rook a to e1 was split then the queen to e5 and now queen to d2 and king to g7 and after this the white play a4 and b5 was played and tried to have a very good pawn structure in the end game and then a5 was played and now h5 was played and this pawn will try to push up and attack the pawn at g2 and bring up more of the pieces so the pawn takes b6 and the pawn takes b6 again and after this h3 was played then the queen to g3 and now you can capture with the rook to have attack with the rook then queen to c3 and after this the black play king g8 and then the queen to d2 and now the rook 8 to e5 and with the idea of going to g5 and attack the pawn at g2 then king to h1 and now queen to g5 and basically after this position and the move for about 10 to 20 move the game is uh, slightly equal in the position until the move move 45 which the black win with a very beautiful checkmate so after this the white play a d6 then c takes d6 and then the queen takes a d6 queen takes a d6 and now the rook to e6 and after that wish the queen to a b8 and check the king and the king to g7 and then the queen to c7 keep on the attack and then the black play h4 and this single queen we don't have any checkmate after this the queen to b7 and then queen to g3 again then the queen to a7 and g5 was played after this the queen to b7 again and g4 was played and keep on the attack and after this the pawn at g takes g4 and this allowed the pawn at h to keep on attack so pawn h3 was played keep on the attack and after this the queen play a uh, queen d5 then the pawn capture the pawn and check the king and after this position the black is uh, winning the game so after this the king to g1 and here after the this the black play rook takes g4 so the correct way will be the rook to h6 and up this will be a mid a mid in 28 move and you can see if the if the play the rook to h6 will be a checkmate so if the queen capture the rook then the simple checkmate will be the rook to h1 and checkmate so in the actual game the rook takes the g4 and after this the queen to h5 and here 
come the brilliant sacrifice and made in four. So I give you a couple of seconds to figure this out how the black can check mid and win in four. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show. Here are the move. The beautiful move is moving the queen to h2 and check the king and with the mid strategy. So after this, if the king move to f2, then the pawn will just promote to a queen and have the double check. And after this, the king to f3, then you have a queen to h3 and checkmate the king. So in the actual game, after the queen check, the king takes the queen. And, and after this, the pawn promote to a queen and check the king. And if the king move to h3, then the queen will just go to g3 and checkmate. So, after promote in the actual game, the rook capture the queen and now the rook to h6 and check the king and now there's nothing that can block the check and the only way is to block with the queen and then the rook will just capture the queen and get the checkmate and with this, thank you